Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how you can use video to create a really effective motion video background. And for this, we're going to download a free video from, you've guessed it, pexels.com. Because don't forget, we also have a selection of free videos as well as free photos on this site. So let's type in our keyword. I'm going to go for travel and hit enter. Now notice we are currently clicked on photos, but we also have a link to take a look at videos within this category. So if we select videos, what we get is a selection of really nice short videos that we can use in the background of our slides to add a little bit of interest. So these aren't necessarily there conveying any type of message. They're not something that people have to listen to or particularly pay attention to. They're just there to give a bit of movement and make our slides look less stagnant and a little bit more interesting. So let's download one of these and I'll show you how I like to use them when I'm putting together backgrounds. Now, I think I'm going to use this one here. It's a really nice, simple video. So let's click on it and let's download it. Now, I don't mind if you go on to here and download a completely different video. That's absolutely fine. I will save this video into the course files folder in case you want to pick it up from there instead. Now, when these videos save, they will save as an MP4 file. So you'll see that file type in the downloads folder. So now that we've downloaded that video, let's very quickly just add a new blank slide. And I'm going to move that to the end of my presentation. Now, what I could do here is insert this video so that it takes up the entire background of the slide, or I could choose to put it elsewhere. And I think for this example, I'm going to choose to have a half page motion video. So once again, I'm going to right click, go to grids and guidelines, and I'm going to add my horizontal and vertical guides. Now from here, we're going to jump up to the insert ribbon and we're going to go over to the media group just here where we have our video drop down. So let's insert our video. We have it saved off to this device in a folder. Navigate to the folder and select the video. And I've just renamed this to motion background. And this is the file that you'll find in the course files folder. Let's click on insert. Now it's going to insert that video so that it takes up the full screen. So what we need to do in order to get this into half of the page is to crop it. So if we go to the video format tab, notice we now have those two tabs again. We can click on the crop button, which is going to give us those black handles around the outside. Now I'm going to drag the right one all the way in to that center line. And then what I can do is simply move this around until I get it into the position that I want. So I think I'm going to place it about there and let's click the crop button again. And we now have that video just in half of our page. Let's right click, go to grids and guidelines, and I'm going to turn off my guides. So now if I click on this picture, notice we have that playback bar underneath. I can click on play to see what that looks like. And I think that looks pretty nice. Now, of course, I can make changes to the way that this video looks and how it plays. So let's jump up to the playback ribbon. And I'm going to say that I want this to start automatically when the slide loads and I want it to loop around until we move on to the next slide. Now, I don't think this video has any sound, but just in case I'm going to mute the volume and I'm pretty happy with the rest of these settings. I don't really want to trim anything off of this and I don't really need it to fade in or fade out. So let's run the slideshow and see what that looks like. And there we go, it automatically starts playing. Now I could go a stage further here and maybe apply some formatting. So if we jump up to video format, maybe I want to make some color corrections. I could fade this out a little bit. That's quite a nice effect. Or I could even change the color so that it completely matches my presentation. 
So if I go for this one here, and then maybe also I want to fade it out a little bit, I could have that kind of effect just here. Also remember, you could use the transparent overlay technique, draw a shape over the top, and then you have more control over this transparency. One other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the video border because we don't want an outline there. I can then just simply go in and add any other elements that I need to to this slide. So let's add in some text. So I've just added in some Contact Us text and I've illustrated each one with just a small icon. And I downloaded these off of the Ion Icons website that I showed you in one of the lessons at the beginning of this course. As always, you'll find all of these icons available in the Course Files folder if you want to practice adding them in. So what we end up with here, if we run this slide, is a really attractive looking Contact Us page that's less stagnant and has a little bit of interest. So think about using videos not only to illustrate points or to convey a message, but also to add interest and make your slides a bit more dynamic. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.